5G has been a hot topic for years, but 2020 will be the year we begin to see 5G come to consumer devices at scale and become a force for digital transformation in the enterprise. Now, these next generation mobile networks will push forward the evolution of technologies like autonomous vehicles, IoT, edge computing, data analytics, and smart cities. I spoke with Bill Menezes, Senior Principal Analyst with Gartner, about how 5G will affect analytics and IoT technology. I started our conversation by asking him how 5G would affect IoT devices in both the near and long term. Well, our expectation is that even though IoT eventually will be a huge part of, of what 5G is going to uh, you know, create benefits for, in the next several years, it's going to be relatively limited. There are a couple of reasons for that, and one is that a lot of the IoT-specific uh, technology innovations that will be incorporated in 5G won't occur until the next couple of releases. And so given those are coming out in the next three to five years, and of course there's a lag for commercial products, IoT will be a big part of it at that point, but not really in the initial stages. So. Our expectation is that in the initial stages, the IoT that's going to be most affected are the types of applications and implementations that require really fast data throughput, right? That's the initial benefit of 5G. And so we're looking at a forecast that says the two biggest use cases for IoT, say by 2023, are going to be the automotive industry for embedded connected car modules, we think that's going to account for like close to 40% of 5G modules installed base by 2023. And the second is, believe it or not, outdoor surveillance cameras, right, in government and physical security sectors. That's going to be about a third of the installed 5G modules in that same time frame. So right there, you're looking at over 70% are going to be accounted by two applications that uh, benefit from really high data speeds uh, and a lot of data throughput, and to a certain extent, an improvement in latency. The, the IoT-specific elements that uh, rely on things like massive machine-type communications and ultra-low latency, high reliability, are going to unfold in a longer term than that. Next, I wanted to know how 5G would change data analytics and the amount of data companies collect. I mean, you know, if you look at what we think some of the key IoT technologies, even aside from 5G are, one of the big ones is artificial intelligence. And artificial intelligence is going to be a big element in terms of how you apply that to the massive amounts of data um, that, you know, this huge, dense population of 5G endpoints will gather for things like predictive analytics, right? So a combination of, of being able to support a, a really high population of IoT endpoints in a given implementation in a small area, for example, like a smart building or an area of a small city or, a, you know, a, a, an enterprise setting like manufacturing, is that uh, applying AI to the, to the data that comes through in much faster uh, timeframes because of the low latency is going to enable a, a higher and higher level of artificial intelligence to do things like predictive analytics so that, for example, in an IoT implementation that might be a control implementation, right, precision manufacturing, um, you are able to uh, have the intelligence to do things at a much more uh, granular, precise level sooner because of the ability to do much better predictive analytics that 5G is going to support versus, and, versus, say, current technologies like 4G, right? So if you've got a wired fiber broadband connection, you're able to do a lot of this stuff now. The advantage of 5G is you're going to be able to do more of that in a setting where you don't have to have that tethered connection. I followed up by asking Bill how much of a game changer 5G will be as it allows us to do wirelessly what once required broadband or even fiber connections. I mean, we already see some of those benefits in, in 4G networking when it's used in settings like manufacturing. The ability over time to evolve that to a 5G deployment means you can support more of those endpoints and you can collect a lot more data and have that much higher level of determinism because of the low latency. Now, where we see the benefits of that are in areas, we mentioned manufacturing, right? So if you have a facility 
that needs to retool every couple of years, then the idea that you're going to be able to move around those pieces of machinery without having to rerun cable in order to get that same type of broadband connectivity to all your sensors and control endpoints on that machinery, uh, that's a huge benefit. I mean, you can already do that with 4G, but as those endpoints are enabling much more sophisticated operations in that machinery, the availability of 5G and, and the fact that you're going to be able to operate it, you know, with a, with a pretty high level of uh, quality of service versus, say, an alternative like Wi-Fi, uh, that's where you're going to start seeing those benefits. And see, those are, those are known use cases, right? Now, though, when you think about 5G, the expectation is there are going to be new use cases that emerge that we really, really haven't even thought of yet. I mean, if you think about the dawn of 4G, I, I don't think there were a lot of people speculating that, okay, now that we're going to have LTE everywhere, we're going to get Uber and social media is going to be pervasive, right, with high resolution video. Those are things that came up as it became clear, especially as developers were able to really work uh, with the networks, what was going to be possible. And, and we fully expect that some new implementations in IoT will emerge that really maybe even aren't on the radar yet. So yeah, autonomous vehicles, yeah, you know, high resolution medical imaging, maybe even to assist using virtual reality for remote surgery. Those are all possibilities, but it, you know, we think that there probably will be some things that, that crop up that uh, the light bulb goes on. It's like, yeah, we should have expected that. In closing, let me thank Bill for sharing his insights on 5G and data analytics with us and remind all of you to check out Tech Republic for the latest 5G news. And while you're there, subscribe to our 5G and the Mobile Enterprise newsletter.